Welcome back to Great Day Houston. Well, my next guest isn't living his NFL dream. He's making dreams come true for kids one word at a time. He's the author of Kayvon Webster's Dictionary, Houston Texans cornerback Kayvon Webster. Good morning. Good morning. You are kind of uh, the stuff that those legendary stories are made of. You know, the kid who grew up in a really tough part of the world and then was successful in football. Let's go back to that neighborhood. Uh, the city you grew up in was once the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. list. I'm uh, just very... Uh, thankful to be from where I'm from, you know, it made me who I am and, you know, it led me to this point that I'm at today. Yeah. What made the difference for you, though? Because we know that so many kids get sucked in when there's, you know, crime and drugs all around them, they get sucked in. What made the difference for you? Uh, growing up was uh, tough. Uh, my parents, they always kept me busy. So uh, sports uh, led me to, you know, the NFL yeah. and it led me to college and it led me to, you know, help other kids get inspired. Yeah, Opelika, Florida? Opelika, Florida, yeah. yes. Yeah, and what was the first moment you realized what sports could do for you and, and, and what it does for so many other kids? Uh, when I went to uh, Monsignor Pace uh, High School, I got my first uh, scholarship to the University of Miami and uh, the rest was history after that. Yeah. Uh, went to South Florida for college, graduated in four years, uh, got drafted by the Broncos, went to the two Super Bowls, and I went to the Rams the uh, year after my contract was done with the Broncos, and then now it led me to Houston. Yeah. Um, so a lot of kids will say, that's what I want to do. I want to be, I'm going to be this athlete. I'm going to be the star. I'm going to go to the NFL, NBA, whatever, baseball. Uh, you had a backup plan. Right. And what was your backup plan? Uh, so I studied uh, health science at University of South Florida. Mm -hmm. um, my backup plan would have been in the medical field, so I would have been a coroner or a medical examiner. Okay, a coroner or a medical examiner. Yeah. Both of those situations, people don't complain. No, they don't. You really never hear from them. <laughs> you don't yeah. hear from them, right? Yeah. Okay, and the lessons that you were taught with sports, we know that we put so much emphasis on academia, and rightfully so, right. but sometimes we forget that in sports, what that teaches somebody that leads them through the rest of their life. Right, um, so... I think a lot of things that we learn in sports is uh, discipline. Um, you learn uh, teamwork, that mm -hmm. you need other people to make it. And um, that's how it led me to this point today. I had a successful yeah. team with my parents, my friends, and, and the community supporting me. Yeah, all right, so the Rams, you played for them. You uh, have been to a Super Bowl. All right. And so what's your prediction for what's going to happen? Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for the Rams. I have a couple friends on the team. Um, former friends from the Broncos with CJ and Tlaib and yeah. then, you know, Nikel and, and Coach McVay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy for everything that they're accomplishing right now. So I'm rooting for the Rams. Yeah, all right. You're also rooting for the kids in our community. Right. You wrote this book and tell us the, the, the premise of this book and what led you to do it. So I, I started out with a book uh, called Timeless Inspiration with a, a young woman named Jasmine D. And um, it kind of led me to, to write another book. So this book started actually with videos online. Mm -hmm. um, it, we got a nice amount of hits on it. And uh, through this time, I was going through one of my hard times in life where I tore my Achilles. And to stay positive, I had come up with words of the week that kept me motivated to keep pushing on my journey. So I just decided to share my journey with other kids who might be going through a tough time. Yeah, words are powerful. And so you have these words of affirmation. So give us an example of kind of some of the words that you have in this book and the way that it's, it's written out there, it is, these words are big, they're in your face. Uh, so, you know, a couple of the words that I have is uh, visualize. Mm -hmm. So how I got to this point was I had to visualize uh, where I wanted to be in life. And, um, you know, I had to see myself being there before actually being there so that when I did get there, that I was ready. And even when you had your injury, visualizing yourself back on that field playing, right? Right. right. Uh, every day was a step towards being back on the field. So, you know, I worked just as hard to get back on the field. Mm -hmm. Another word that I had was uh, capitalize. Mm -hmm. So with me capitalizing, visualizing in that moment, just being prepared for it. And um, when that moment came, I already knew what I had to do to take the steps uh, yeah, necessary. And how to handle it, yeah. And another word that I had was, uh, let's see, rejoicing. Mm -hmm. um, just being thankful from, you know, just being able to wake up every day, um, 
see the smiles on people's face and, you know, just keep inspiring one, yeah. one kid at a time. And you've always been thankful and prayerful. Uh, like a lot of moms, your mom was concerned when you got your first tattoo, right. right? And then you showed her what the tattoo was. You came home with a sweatshirt on, you said, right? You came home with a sweatshirt in Florida and she knew something was up. Right, yeah, it was, uh, it was probably like 95 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. I had on a sweater and, you know, she just couldn't figure it out. So I took it off. I had ace bandages on and she was upset like why would you do that and then I took it off it was uh prayer hands with a football and you know she kind of eased off yeah yeah and I think it was Jonathan Joseph that like he got his first tattoo and his mom was like so upset with him and then he, he showed it to her it was Jesus she's like oh okay <laughs> right, right I guess Jesus solves all the problems <laughs> right you know? uh, let me just say to you thank you very much because sometimes people take their success and, and move on with it but because of where you came from like you said you're right. thankful for how you grew up because you understand what the adversity is and right. you want to help others out of that adversity all right that's the that's the plan um that's God's work, giving yeah. back. So, you know, I'm just thankful to be able to give back and to inspire the youth. And this is going to continue. Uh, an educational cartoon based on the book is one of the things that you're looking at. Yeah, so I met a, a group of people out in California when I was in Los Angeles, and they're helping me come up with a cartoon. So I'm just looking forward to that. And, um, stay tuned. All right, we will stay tuned. To get a copy of Kayvon Webster's Dictionary, visit GreatDayHouston.com, and we'll connect you to his website.